Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we've got a video that's answering questions that uh, many of our viewers have had um, about the bells you hear throughout the ship. Uh, the, the ringing sound shows up in the background of a number of our videos. Uh, so people ask, what the heck is that? So first off, uh, Battleship New Jersey has a couple of bells on board. This is the quarterdeck bell. It's more of a uh, ceremonial thing. This one was added by the museum. Um, the ship potentially had a quarterdeck bell when she was in service. She definitely had two bells and a gong that were specially made for the ship. There's one bell under the uh, 08 level of the forward superstructure that is the ship's bell, the one you think of uh, when, when you think of a bell that has the ship's name on it in the year. This bell is hung on the underside of the 08 navigation bridge. Uh, the one difference is traditionally these bells tend to be bronze. Uh, ours are steel because of wartime metal shortages. We have a second, uh, I think it's identical, bell. under the uh, discone cage antenna forward. And then the gong back aft by the uh, shack that's under turret three. And this is the ship's gong. We're now on the fantail just forward of the helicopter landing deck. Let's see how this one sounds. So as you can tell, it's a very different sound from the bell up forward. That is our fog bell system. So the bell and the gong ring at uh, they make different sounds when they ring, so if a ship is coming towards us and they hear the cell sound of the bell and the gong at the same time, it means they're coming onto the ship straight on. If they hear the bell first, then they're coming on bow on. If they hear the gong first, they're coming up the stern of the ship first. So that, that is an old style. And uh, so is the ship's bell that you hear ringing. Bells on the ship are a way of telling time. They're basically a cuckoo clock. And this goes way back into the age of sail. It's one of those traditional things that the Navy has retained, uh, even though we've got those expensive Boston wind-up clocks all over the ship. So uh, the ship's bell is rung every half hour and it's rung in four hour increments. On a sailing ship, a traditional watch is four hours long. So you're not necessarily ringing it like a cuckoo clock where 12 o'clock is 12 bells. Uh, 12 o'clock is in fact eight bells because it is the end of a four hour watch. You're also not ringing it like a cuckoo clock in that you go ding, ding, ding. I don't know about you guys, but I have trouble counting whether that was 11, 12, uh, 10 dings. So on Navy ships, the bell is always rung in pairs. So if it's the half hour, you get a single ding. If it's an hour, you get two dings back to back. So what does, uh, let's say seven bells sound like? That would be So I think that's a much easier way to count the number of bells. You got three pairs and then a single there at the end. So you know you're on the half hour uh, and you know you're coming up on the end of a watch, which means in a half hour, if you're working, you're about to be relieved. If you're not working, you better finish eating or start to wake up and get dressed because you're about to relieve that watch. The watches are uh, split up throughout the day, and on a traditional sailing ship, there would be two duty sections, a port watch and a uh, starboard watch. And they would alternate every four hours. So you'd have four hours on, four hours off, four hours on, four hours out, off, throughout the entire night. Now, the problem with this is it's an even number. So if you're always working the midnight to 4 a.m. watch, 
uh, you're always having your sleep schedule interrupted by that four hour work shift, then if you have an even number of watches, that ends up happening every single day for the entire three years that you'd be assigned to your sailing ship. So the Navy added a uh, half watch right around uh, dinner time. The, uh, the 4 p.m., the 1600, to the 8 p.m., 2000, uh, hour watch is split in half. So it becomes two half hour dog watches, they're called. Uh, and they're called that because they're curtailed. Traditionally, each of the watches have a name. Eight to noon is the forenoon watch, noon to four, or noon to 1600 is the afternoon watch. You've got the two dog watches. On modern ships, there are usually more than two duty sections. And sometimes uh, when you're at high states of readiness, the crew is divided in half, but usually there are at least uh, three duty sections. And uh, sometimes it's not even a four hour watch. Sometimes it's six hour watches or eight hour watches, uh, which conform more closely to a normal workday and to or a normal modern workday and a normal modern sleep schedule. We also don't have dog watches because with three duty sections, you've got uh, the, the shifts are still rotating through throughout the week. Even though all of this has changed and the bells now have absolutely nothing to do with the watch standing, because it's tradition, it still uh, persists. When you're on watch, you're running the ship in some way. When you uh, go off of watch, you're doing normal maintenance, cleaning up your birthing space, laundry, uh, eating, and you're sleeping whenever you get the free time to. There could be drills overnight when your uh, watch section is supposed to be asleep. Uh, there, there could be actual general quarters happening. There could be um, a meeting called for your division during the time period when you were supposed to be asleep. And so the Navy has been looking at the way they do watch standing recently and trying to make changes towards that to guarantee a more normal sleep schedule for sailors to try and reduce uh, sleep-related accidents on board ships. And I think that's a great thing and now is a great time to be looking at that and figuring out a way to, uh, to alter tradition to be more efficient. A huge uh, push has been made in recent years to try and reduce the number of sailors on individual ships to limit the operating cost uh, by making sailors' schedules more efficient. That sure helps with that, because when you reduce the number of sailors, it means that the ones who are left have to do more watch standing. They have to do more maintenance and cleaning. It's not spread out as broadly. Uh, as, say, on a battleship like this that has close to 2,000 guys. So, uh, to come back to the original question from 10 minutes ago, why do you hear the bells in some of our videos? Well, to give you flavor of what it was like on this ship when she was in service, our volunteers have rigged up uh, an auto-docent system which plays recordings of the bell ringing every half hour. It also plays some of the normal types of announcements you would hear every day throughout the ship. On deck, second section, we leave the watch, we leave the whale and lookout, life boy watch and lifeboat's crew to muster. On deck, second section. Such as sweepers, general quarters alarms, those sorts of things, to give our guests more of an idea of what it was actually like on this ship. What's your favorite announcement you've ever heard over the 1MC? The Roach Coach is on approach? Let us know in the comment section down below. Also let us know if you have any questions or stuff you'd like to see in future videos. We do check the comment section pretty frequently and uh, it gives us a lot of inspiration for videos like this one. Battleship New Jersey Museum receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State and also from viewers like you. If you would like to support the museum, Check the link in the description below for ways you can donate to not only support the museum in general, but our YouTube channel in particular. 
the money you guys have donated to us throughout the year has allowed us to buy uh, new equipment, like our microphones, which are hopefully making our recordings better, uh, and um, also keep us employed and allow us to go from making one video a week, like we were at the beginning of the year, up to as many as five videos a week, like we're trying to shoot now. And remember to like, share, and subscribe so you're notified when we put out more content. Thanks for watching.